One of the most common things you will want to do with Mapitude is create a map using your data. Whether you store your data in Excel, Access, SQL Server, or any ODBC compliant data source, Mapitude can work with your data. Create a Map Wizard gives you start to finish assistance for locating, geocoding, geographically analyzing, and mapping your data. For example, this customer spreadsheet has address and sales data. They can be used in several ways. I'll start by going back to Maptitude and choosing New Map to launch the Create a Map Wizard. Choose Map My Own Data, and Maptitude prompts you for where the file is stored. Click Next, and Create a Map Wizard will show you what mappable fields it found in your data. For instance, here it found address, city, state, and zip code data. And now I can choose how to use the data. Note, the options here will depend on what fields are in my data and what country package I have installed. This option will aggregate your data using the postal code. So, for example, I can see the total and average sales by each postal code. Choose whether to create a theme on the postal codes using your data. In this case, I will make a color theme showing the total quarter two sales in each zip code. Maptitude displays a map illustrating the total second quarter sales in each zip code. The legend shows that lighter colors indicate lower sales and darker colors indicate higher sales. All of the data that Maptitude aggregated is available for me to map. At the bottom of the field list, it lists the fields that it calculated, such as the number of customers in each zip code, the total first quarter sales, average first quarter sales, total second quarter sales, and average second quarter sales. I'm going to change the theme now to the average second quarter sales by zip code and click OK. Now we can see which zip codes have the highest average sales. Now let's add a bar chart theme showing the change in sales over the two quarters. I'll select the two quarterly sales fields, choose a bar chart theme, and click OK. Since the bulk of my sales are in the downtown area, I'm going to zoom in to downtown. And now we can clearly see the chart theme and see where sales increased, such as over here, and where they decreased, such as over here. Now I'm going to use Create a Map Wizard again, but rather than making a map of the zip codes, I'm going to have Maptitude locate all of my customers on a map. So again, I'll click File New, Choose Map to launch the Create a Map Wizard. Notice that Maptitude remembers the spreadsheet where my data is. This time I'll again click Next and choose Locate Records by Street Address. Maptitude requires a unique ID for each record when it's geocoding. Since my table already includes that, I can go ahead and click Next. Maptitude prompts me to create a new file that will be holding the customer data. And again, I can choose a theme to put on my data. This time, let's create a scaled symbol theme so that each customer will be shown in a different size depending on how great its quarter two sales are. You can also choose whether to perform any analysis on the new features. For example, if you are locating retail sites, you may want to build buffers around them to study the surrounding area. Or if you're locating customers, you may want to find hotspots where they're concentrated. In this example, we'll show the area that encompasses the customers and its weighted center. Again, I'm prompted because Mathitude will be creating a new file with a weighted center. And click Finish. Mathitude reports the number of customers that were found and creates a new map. Other methods will help you locate records that Maptitude could not find. For example, there may be addresses that are post office boxes or that were misspelled and Maptitude was unable to locate it in the previous step. If we locate the remaining records by zip code, they will be in approximately the correct location on the map. To do that, you choose Tools, Locate, Locate by Zip Code. This may also be called Locate by Postal Code depending on your country package. And now we will locate the records that were not found and we can choose to center them at the zip code point or scatter them inside the zip code. Notice this time that Maptitude was able to locate the remaining records 
Now all of my records are located on the map. And if we zoom in, and use the info tool, you can see the data associated with each of the records. For example, here is customer number 2167. And here is customer 2166 with fewer sales. That sums up how to use the Create a Map Wizard to get your data into Maptitude. You may want to check out some of the other geographic analysis videos to see some other ways that you can now use your data in a map.